Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Elias, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn. In the last episode, we made the Empower, and with this, we were able to make the um, Void Crystals, the Empowered Void Crystals that we needed to make the uh, Shock Absorber, is what it was. And um, we got that, we also got access to Lava, through the the lava factory thing from uh, actually additions and yeah so far we're getting some stuff done um, today we are going to work on a couple of different things um, so one thing that I believe is in reach is an energy cell um, so these guys which the basic ones um, I don't know how you improve these guys uh, but we were locked out of this with Electrum. Uh, we can make Electrum now, so uh, that is going to be one of the things we're going to work towards. Uh, but before we do anything else, uh, I want to actually uh, start working on getting power moved. Uh, so we're going to actually move these machines and move all power generation to downstairs. Uh, the reason being is I want to set up a little bit of automation down here with this and we're going to it's going to be easier just to do it this way so furnace generators these guys lost all their power which is a bit of a shame but that's fine we'll gain it back uh, and then this guy we're going to want more of these second cables and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to make another resource generator um, so let's see re source generators um, these guys are iron, wood, and redstone, and a powered crafting table, which we can go ahead and place back down. Why not? Um, let's go ahead and move this cable to here. Nope, not there. Uh, to here. And that will start charging. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit to charge fully, but that's fine. So let's grab a little bit of... We need five blocks of iron. That is a lot. Um, actually, it's about like that much. So it's not as much as I thought, but um, five blocks of iron and a redstone block to get the resource generator. So the recipe difficulty is now increased. Um, tier two just requires more power. Uh, eventually it's gonna be a lot worse, but for now that's fine. So what we're gonna do with this is we need another item frame uh, and that requires leather. So let's grab some wheat. Uh, as you can see between episodes, I just quickly made a little bit better uh, reed farm. And we're gonna go breed some cows. Uh, we have a couple cows. How many cows do we have? We have four. So you guys all need to breed the parrots and bats. I have no idea what that advancement is, but let's kill a cow. And we're going to grab the leather, and we're going to use the leather to make a, uh item frame. So we can get rid of this stuff. Um... While this guy is nice, I don't think we're going to use him. And this guy has no more power, so we can break him. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just have the power line um, somewhere down there. So what we're going to do, we're going to make another item frame. That's not how you make it in this mod pack. What am I doing? Uh... Let's look it up, because I don't remember. It's been a while since we've made an item frame. Uh, it's just wood. Okay, easy enough. Uh, we have a lot of uh, logs, by the way. The tree farm has been doing decently well. Uh, so what we're going to do is this LV capacitor right now, we're going to have it sitting like so. Um, that is output and input. And... I guess we could have put it right over here. So one, two, let's break this stuff. 
and this guy, not that, uh, three, and we'll send this up. And there it is, cool. So we have that there. We're gonna need a little bit more cables, uh, which are just redstone and iron, easy enough. Uh, we even have a few more. We're gonna need some transfer nodes items. So here is the plan. We are going to make, um, this is a little bit cheaty, but it's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make infinite coal um, to feed these two guys. And the reason we can do this is because the resource generator, uh, if we put him right here, uh, we put an item frame that says, can we make leather by the way? Um, put that like so. And that's not gaining any power. Let's break this for right now. So these guys, they should be giving it power. Um, I don't remember, does it make leather? I don't know that it does, but it does make coal. And I wonder if we can, if we put that there, no, it does need a chest. All right, so um, instead of having this here, Let's move it over here. So I believe it always outputs out the top, so we just need another chest. Uh, we have that easy enough. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a chest here. We're gonna put a transfer node. And we're gonna fill these guys with coal. Um, now the only thing we need to do now is, actually let's do this off of the back and then item node, what's this guy? Seize, okay, the, the generator, the other generator. Uh, so like that. And then we'll put the item frame with coal in the front and that'll produce coal which will then feed these guys who will then just kind of continuously power this guy uh, and it's going to be cyclic um, that's kind of the point and then any excess energy can go over here so that is the plan anyways um, and it should work decently well uh, it looks like it's trying to feed this first uh, which we can fix by simply moving one of these generators and we're gonna end up moving all of this stuff so I don't know why that's always so hard to hit um, we're gonna move all this stuff over one And this way, uh, in fact, we can, yeah, we're going to have this right here with generator next to it. And that should work at least a little bit better. So we put all that coal in there. We're going to give this guy some coal and he's going to power this guy put the, the coal there and it will produce coal and it will actually produce coal just as um, it will produce more coal than this guy will use so that is the plan put that guy there transfer node and presumably this guy will fill up uh, we'll make sure one of these guys fills up completely and that will give us all the power we could ever want so that is power taken care of. Um, now, today I want to start working towards the blast furnace and we're gonna just try to get done as much as we can. I'd love to get this energy cell. I don't know how to make any more advanced ones than this, um, but this isn't that bad. We're gonna need some glass. So for right now, 
Let's get like eight glass cooking. Um, we're gonna need some lead, um, silver. We're gonna need more silver. So let's get that producing silver. And there's a reason why I didn't have that set up all the time. Um, that is so energy hungry. All right, so we can put leather away and we'll put the wheat away as well. Okay, so what we want to do. So we're going to be making blast brick. And in order to do that, we need nether brick, which is just nether rack, brick, which is clay, and blaze powder. To get blaze powder, we're going to need, uh, what was it, the flu transposer. And in order to do anything with that, we need the magma crucible. So we're going to start making some machines. We're also going to want induction furnace um, and a pulverizer probably. Can we go ahead and make a lot of this stuff? So we're going to need a lot of glass. Um, so a redstone furnace might not be a bad idea. So let's work on that one first. So redstone furnace. That requires uh, just a little bit of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of where do we want to put all these machines. I think we're going to put them all here. So we're going to need those power lines again. And we'll just do one of these. That'll work. Uh, so we have some glass. We're going to need tin, and we're going to need iron. And that's probably enough silver. So for the time being, go ahead and make me a bunch of netherrack. Uh, so we are going to need... We'll get two of these for the time being. Two tin gears. And then machine frames and then from there we're gonna make the redstone furnace so we need bricks copper gears so we need some copper uh, we're gonna need bricks so we need clay and what else do we need for the redstone furnace uh, a piece of redstone and gold. So not too bad. Uh, redstone, gold, that, the copper, machine frame, and then the bricks. Once those are done. Uh, so this is going to give us a machine that can make better stuff. Um, Trivection. I don't know it. That food items. Additional foods when processing, that's kind of cool. Um, additional output when smelting ores, that's cool, but we're not going to get ores to smelt. And then this guy is, oh, it allows for creosote production. That's kind of cool. Okay, so once we have the bricks, which is almost done, uh, we need some more charcoal. Or we can just use coal now. Uh, let's get some tiny coal. I'm still going to keep this guy around, but um, we're going to use him a lot less. And then once that's done, there we go. There's all the bricks. I'm going to make some more glass so that we can get more machines. So that, that. I keep forgetting that we don't actually have uh, the Tinker Construct type of uh, crafting tables. So there's the redstone furnace. So that's going to make things a lot faster and we just kind of configure it so it doesn't do anything it's going to take up a, a bunch of power um but we should be good on power uh now the next thing we're going to want magma crucible we can't get yet we need electrum and to get electrum we need electrum blend which we can get from pulverized metals um we could get this from a crusher which isn't a bad idea but let's just go ahead and make a pulverizer so that's the next thing we need so that way we can start making um electrum so that is just some flint a piston um pretty easy stuff all right that's enough of that let's get some gravel so we can get some flint 
and we just need two. Cool. Um, one of these days I'm gonna get a better, a little bit of a better inventory. We'll worry about that later though. So um, we're just gonna let that go for just a bit. So we have a machine frame. We need a piston. Um, we need some more copper gears. So we need more copper. So let's go ahead and get more copper. And that's pretty quick and easy. So copper gears, we're gonna get these. Uh, we need this. And there we go, there is the pulverizer. Second machine completed. Uh, now what we can do with this is we can take some silver and some gold and we can pulverize them. This will give us the pulverized metals and that will give us um, access to Electrum for now. So that is full of cool. This is just going to make as much coal as we want. And these guys are going to give us plenty of power and we're actually gaining power. So this is really good. I keep hitting you. Why do I keep hitting you? Uh, so there is the gold and then the silver. And that will give us Electrum. And it will give us two Electrum each. So not too bad. Um, we're going to make a machine to make this a little bit easier, a little bit faster. And to kind of help with that, we're going to make more machines. So uh, we're going to want... I think the next thing to make is the induction furnace. Uh, that way we can easily make alloys. That does require some invar, so we need nickel. All right, that's enough copper for now. Uh, so we also need that glass. Uh, four is enough for right now. Uh, we're gonna be making three more machines. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there is first machine frame. Uh, we're gonna need some invar, so that requires is it two or is it three pulverized? It is two. It is a two to one. We need just one nickel, but let's go ahead and get some more. And once that's done, we have the electrum. And there's the nickel. And there's the Envar blend that we can then smelt up and get Envar. So this is going to allow us to make the induction smelter. We're going to need a bucket and all that stuff. Uh, more copper gears. Uh, all of this is pretty straightforward. So induction smelter, we need... Let's get another bucket. Actually, we have a bunch of buckets, don't we? We do. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So we need copper gears times two. And then in redstone thing uh, so that is everything we need for the induction smelter perfect so we can get this place down and turn everything off uh, so now we can just directly make all of these ores um, we need more storage so we're gonna have an ore chest and I think we're gonna put that right on top of here in fact let's make more chests uh, just to make my life easier. So we are going to have an ore chest here and some other chest there. Uh, and then I'll put this chest with this guy. So bigger inventory. Uh, deal with that later. But let's see. Ores can go in here. Um, so we're going to have iron. Let's take out all but one iron we're gonna make iron blocks as well just to store it uh we have gold i will make a single gold block and basically if we have excess gold or anything like that so copper single copper block and so forth so um just to get this stuff out of my inventory and 
clean this guy up a little bit. Uh, I think we're going to have a blocks box. I think that's what this is going to be. So we need netherrack, which, by the way, we need to make for the next machine. Um, so the magma crucible is next. I had induction furnace twice. Whoops. Uh, the magma crucible is next. That requires nether brick, uh, which we can get if we had soul sand, which we could get that. You know what? Let's get some soul sand. That is a little bit of an expensive craft, but I think will be worth it. So dirt, gravel, sand, um, netherrack. I'll put soul sand there. Uh, so this, we should throw that in there. Laser it, we have soul sand now. Uh, getting access to all these materials is probably the best thing. And this will give us nether brick items a lot easier. Uh, so it is, we need two, we can get that from two nether rack instead of eight. So it's a little bit easier to get stuff. All right, good enough. And what I will do is I'll have a slot of basically everything, and then that'll be nether brick. Obsidian can come down here. Put all that sand in there. So I need soul sand. And we just do this. That'll cook up. No problem. Um, we'll get our nether rat or our uh, nether brick and we can start working on everything else so we have the glass now we even got some sulfur out of that which is kind of cool not super useful but kind of cool so the magma crucible we need iron uh so we're gonna need two of these guys so let's make both of those we could put glass in here as well uh put glass down there and let's see, we are going to need copper. Gonna need more copper. And let's see the uh, fluid transposer. Uh, that is also gonna require copper gear, so. One, two, three, four. All right, so the magma crucible, we're gonna need two of these guys. So we need redstone and gold. And then the magma crucible also needs a redstone conductance coil. Uh, so there's that. Now I wanna see real quick, um, recipe, just wanna make sure, okay. There is no recipe for that um, to like get more um, we're gonna have Envar, Electrum, Bronze, and all the alloys down here. So, uh, Copper, Gold, Tin will go in there, Lead, and then we'll have Redstone, and all that kind of stuff down there. So, uh, there is the Magma Crucible, and then the Fluid Transposer, we just need a little bit of glass. And there's that. So with these two machines, um, we're gonna put them up here. We're gonna have Magma Crucible, Fluid Transposer. Now these we're actually gonna configure. I want the output of the Magma Crucible to go directly into the input of the Fluid Transposer. And now to get Blaze Powder, which we can duplicate, um, we need to add 200 millibuckets of destabilized redstone to some glowstone. And 200 millibuckets is two pieces of redstone. So one, two, to one of these, and that will give us blaze powder. So we just do that. Um, and it will take a second. It just does its thing. Uh, it's relatively slow, but this will give us blaze powder. And that will unlock the blast brick, which gives us easier access to steel. So that will do its thing. And... Come on. There's blaze powder. Now, if we want blaze rods, we can easily make that. Uh, so I'm gonna take one of these blaze powders immediately over here, because I don't want to do that again. Uh, and this is our protection, uh, protective like chest of all of the stuff that's good. 
Hey, we got pumpkins. Uh, let's break a pumpkin in. You know, I think I took pumpkin seeds over there, but we have pumpkins. Cool. Uh, I want to see if we have the pumpkin seeds over here. And then we can start talking about the last thing I want to do. So we're going to put pumpkins here. Uh, do we have obsidian in here as well? We do. Okay. Uh, soul sand. I also made that. So uh, the, the last thing I want to talk about real quick is... Okay, that's enough blaze powder for right now. We can take five of these. And we can compress them. Uh, over here with this machine and this will give us blaze rods uh, so now we have access to blaze rods so yeah we're getting a lot of stuff and this is this is working out pretty nicely um, let's get a piece of soul sand I'll take that over there in a moment um, so here is my question we cannot make this any other way but um, blaze rods are used for a lot of stuff uh, we can now make potions um, and yeah we can make potions uh, I don't know how good these are to have but it's good to have it nonetheless we can eventually get nether warts and then we can duplicate that that's kind of cool so um, we'll just put a blaze rod in here if it comes in handy we'll use it but uh, the the last thing I want to really quickly talk about, because um, it is getting to the point of wrapping up the episode, uh, so one of the things that we need to deal with is EU. I believe that is the the key to unlocking um, the Garden Cloche, which is a really nice item. Um, we need a lot of EU, and I'm kind of debating what's going to be the best way to do that. Well, I think it's going to be the semi-fluid generator so where is it this guy um, which requires geothermal this is none of this is really that bad uh, and what the semi-fluid generator does is it produces power based on different liquids now the only one that we really have access to and that's good is biomass so we're gonna have to make a lot of biomass and in order to do that we're gonna want one more machine probably um, can we make an aqueous accumulator? Aqua aquatic entangler, I didn't even, oh, catches fish. So this guy produces water. Um, we need a device frame. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. Um, so what we'll end up doing is we'll, we'll have that down below producing water for us and pumping that into, um, the fermenter so it is right here and we'll just pump water into that from below so let's go ahead and make that real quick and then we'll end up the we'll end off the episode and come back next time and start working on getting um, a lot of biofuel so we're gonna want transfer pipes iron drum um, so we're gonna need copper and tin. We need some more glass, which, by the way, we can make a lot faster now. Uh, and this guy. And we're probably going to need some redstone. Let's grab more tin. So, what are these? Flux Aqua Chow. Rich Aqua Chow. No idea what those are used for. Uh, anyways, there's the glass. So let's go ahead and make the aqueous accumulator if we can. So device frame, we need iron. Uh, so this guy, we're going to need iron gears. Uh, a bucket, which we're just going to grab another one out of here. Uh, redstone servo is easy device frame and that should be everything we're missing glass at least I think that was glass it looked like glass it's glass so there's the aqueous accumulator so now here's the question um, one does this require power so we're gonna put this right underneath here 
Is that lined up? It is. Cool. Um, so that very slowly produces water. We can put a drum on top of it and it will auto input into that. And then we can um, just put a transfer node and transfer pipe into the bottom of the fermenter to give it water. Now, here's the thing. We can increase the speed this works if we put some water sources around it, I do believe. Um, where's my bucket? Uh, let's just grab that. That was weird. It like ate both buckets. That's not nice. Uh, so we just need to grab some water and we're going to put a water source, um, a couple water sources down there next to it. So we'll need some slabs to, to keep them in. And uh, you'll see very, very quickly how fast this guy actually goes. So um, right now it's producing not very much. Um, let's just remove this for a second. You can see just uh, it produces 80 millibuckets every once in a while. If we put this here, it's producing uh, a good bit more. So let's put lights like so. Uh, at least I think this still works. I don't actually know. Um, so can we, there we go, there's another bucket of water. And now it's producing a lot more, um, pretty much instantaneous. So that is going to be our water source for the fermenter. So we just need to make compost and throw in a bunch of organic matter, like saplings or plant balls, or there's a bunch of options. So we'll look at that next episode and kind of go from there. So uh, next episode, the plan will be to finish off getting uh, as much uh, power both EU and RF so that we can complete those two quests and hopefully get the aluminum we need for the garden cloche. That's, that's the plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!